it's November 21st and I'm gonna give it another shot today it's not it's a little colder temperature wise but it looks like there's less wind and it's supposed to heat up more this afternoon get back up to around zero Celsius which I think is 32 Fahrenheit anyways I'm headed over to grab myself a coffee and then I'm on the way out Seven ten, and the legal light is not until 7.39 today. So I'm here, I kind of got ready to go. I got the rifle out beside the truck, kind of letting it climatize because it's cold today. Minus 13. I don't know if you can see that. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, but minus 13 Celsius is pretty cold with a wind chill of minus 21, I think it said. So she's going to be not a very nice morning. Statistically, I have pretty good luck on November 21st. Last year I shot my deer on November 21st. And I've shot a couple other ones on this day before too. So I'm hoping that I'll get lucky again. Alright guys, I'm heading in down this east side of the property again. There you uh, My buddy Russ is here. His father-in-law today as well. And... Uh, we're gonna see if we can't get it done. They can both have doe tags. And I've got tags with both doe and buck. Legal light starts in a couple minutes here, so I'm gonna put the camera away just in case I see something. Hey guys, um, my GoPro died again, like usual. It's too cold. So I'm on my phone now. Anyways, I'm following some tracks. I took a shot at a small whitetail spike buck. He came out probably about 150 yards. When I took the shot, he was uh, roughly 120. But there was some junk in the way. I mean, you can see the, the trees and stuff behind me. Where he was standing, there is some hair. So I believe I hit him, but I haven't found any blood yet. So I'm about... 40 50 yards from where he was standing when I shot him shot at him and I'm still seeing hair in the tracks that he took so I'm gonna follow the trail for a while see if I can't find blood I did have a spike buck come up the hill where I was sitting on just to the south of me and walk up and he looked like he was fine so I don't know if it was the same deer or if there was another spike buck that came up that hill from the other direction so i'm going to follow these tracks and see where it went to there's the hair on the trail you can see right there like i don't know if I leave them on the bottom right there. but you'd think if there was any blood it would be on the top of the snow you'd see it after about 500 yards of tracking those the that deer's trail it doesn't look like he missed any steps at all he went through two foot deep snow crossing over the pipeline on the property like it was nothing i didn't find a single speck of blood in 500 yards the way he ran by me down this hill it looked like there was nothing wrong with him he was walking completely normal so i feel confident that i missed just barely but I missed so, like it looks like I said there's hair there but it looks like there's nothing else there's no blood there's no nothing he didn't walk funny uh, he was literally jumping like 10 feet through the snow to get across this pipeline and I'm pretty sure he's still alive probably gonna be fine shook up a little bit I'm gonna sit back down and see if something else doesn't come out in that same spot where the, the little buck came out.
for anybody who's ever never had this kind I don't recommend it it's not very good for anybody out there whose wife is into Ray Dunn these cups actually do keep your coffee pretty hot even when you're sitting it in the snow just burnt my lip and it I brewed it like 10 minutes ago hey guys I just finished eating lunch had one of those freeze-dried things you heat up with a boiling water or whatever it was not very good potatoes were crunchy and soggy and tasted like they were never cooked it was a bandito scramble from Alpine something or other anyway I wouldn't recommend it if you're unless you're in a situation like this Oh, there's a couple hours left. I think sun goes down at 4.30, 4.28. And it is probably just before 2 o'clock. So half hour after sunset puts us at 4.58 for an end time for hunting today. It's warming up, but it still feels cold because the humidity is high. And there's still wind, quite a bit of wind. Like a 20 kilometer wind. But comes through this little cut line every now and then it hits me but for the most part it's kind of blocked by the trees it is about 3:45, and legal light is until 4:58. so hoping to see something later tonight before legal light is up i'm not sure if i'm even going to stay here for the last part of the day i might move to a different spot getting cold again Maybe I need a walk to warm up. Here's my little setup today. A buddy of mine brought a chair in here, set it up, and I've been sitting in it with my heat seat all day. Thermo seat, whatever they call it. Got the rifle, pack, shooting stick, and my gloves. Well, I got to do another walk of shame tonight. Nick that deer earlier on in the day about 9 9 15 in the morning and sat in that same spot straight on for the rest of the day didn't even see another deer all day long so my buddy shot a little button buck and he's already taken off to go deal with it over at his father-in-law's place but had I been sitting in the spot where I normally like to sit in the mornings I probably could have shot a nice little three-point buck he said that his button buck that he shot was being followed by a bigger buck three points on the one side but he did say that he only had one antler so I don't know maybe I wouldn't have shot it but knowing me I probably would have taken a shot anyways but that ends today's hunt uh, I'm going to try and get out one more time this year but I have no idea if I'm going to be able to hunt the whole day on Saturday or just the morning. Hopefully I'll be able to come out Saturday morning and get one in the morning and not have to worry about hunting all day. But if I don't get one on Saturday that's the last day of that I'll be able to get out unless I book a day off work because November 30th is the end of the season. Anyway, I'm going to make my way home. Got a 40 minute drive back to my place. So thanks for watching. If you hang on, if you hung on this long and make it to the end of the video, if not, well, you won't be hearing this anyway. So thanks for watching my video and I'll see you on the next one.